All right, guys, I'm back for a little more heat punishment. Um, we were about to go to the gym, and uh, Tanya decided she needed a little more time. Not a little more time, a little time. Sitting in front of Bertha, Bertha being the large AC unit, which we finally were able to turn back on. Um, in contrast to Mini B, which is the little bedroom AC. So I think I have a half hour or so to kill while she cools off. She feels the heat a lot more than I do. Not sure why. I mean, I find it very hot right now, but it's it's only uncomfortable. It's not deadly. She's bordering on death, according to what she's saying. I think we're keeping everything we got here. We might as well, you know, if something gets uh, something gets robbed from us, so be it. Um, then it'll be something we don't want. I want to see one thing. Can we, can we inscribe? Does inscribe exist here as a thing, or is that something that came in later? That is how we used to swap out our our pickaxe and stuff. Inscribe an object. Let's do that now. Let's try inscribe. Inscribe which one? The pick. More. With at two, if I remember correctly. Now let's try wield two. Nah, it didn't work. Is that how you did that? Nope. Inventory. Was it at? Yeah, that's not what it was. Let's try inscribing it again. Inscribe. Which one? The pick. More. Let's just try two. Now let's try wield two. Nah. I'll look it up. I'll uh, look at my old videos and figure out how to do that. I don't remember how to do that right now. For now, let's just leave it. We'll continue doing what we've been doing. All right. Let's try and get down to level three if we can. Level three? Yeah. Level th three. I don't remember if we're on level three or level two or what. One second. I'm trying to move things around as well so that I'm. I have the space to operate here. Move my mouse away. I don't need my mouse. All right, here we go. Let's go down. I'm not sure if we're going to level three or level two, but let's get, at least get down to level two at the absolute fastest we can. We'll get a. Maybe I should have got a lantern there. We'll get a lantern as soon as we can as well, because uh, I could be wrong. But it seems to me it, maybe it sees two squares distance versus a torch which only sees one square distance. I'm, I might be wrong about that, but if it's true, that's a substantial upgrade, isn't it? Ration of food. Done. Search, 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 search. Open. Grab it, motherfucker. I wonder what he got. Nothing else coming. Okay. I wonder what he did get. Still have shards of pottery, damn it. I have no idea what he got. I don't want him taking my pick or my arrows, especially. Search, 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 search. Nothing. Open. Let's go around. Search, 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 search. Find me a staircase. And or awesome items. More potions, more scrolls. I want to identify as much as possible, as early as possible. What's that? I don't know. That's a reptile. It's a white snake or maybe a yeah, white snake. Still getting two attacks with the dagger. Wooden torch, okay. With, with a little bit more light. That's all right. Keep that on hand for now. Something for grabbits to grab, or something else for me to uh, maintain. I wonder if they grab an arrow for me, if they only grab one arrow. Now that I think about it, when they're grabbing torches, they were only grabbing one at a time. So maybe that's how it works. 14 gold. I have zero mana. He's not going to drain my mana. Gardolf A. Should we try it right now? No. Let's hold off. I don't want to use it and then have it you know, have no effect. But if I see more grab it, so I'll, I'll read it right away. Another wooden torch. Good. I'll take it. Oh, I'm going to try to numlock on and then try five. Ah, oh, fuck. I really thought that would be it. Nope. I really thought I had solved that problem. I felt fucking proud of that. Oh, well. We have an extra guard off. Let's read one then. Read. B. 
You sense the presence of invisible creatures. Okay. The next time we have uh, one of those masses that blocks our way, we'll try it and at least maybe maybe learn a bit about it. Even if we can't learn about it, we can see if it... I guess we can't learn about it. We can't. It only lasts for one turn, but... We'll get a letter on the map anyway to say what is what letter represents this nuisance. Oh, let's go up here. Money and a way down. Die, snake. Money is awesome. Ways down are awesome. One way door. Oh, lots of money. And a potion and a... A gnome skeleton. I'll pick it up for now. As long as it doesn't say we're going slowly. We have a person there. What is that? Novice Rogue. Let's press X. Oh, we are now using a dagger. I thought we were using uh, it before. All right, well, then I guess we're waiting. Well, I, we can't wait. We're left. He got us. Our purse feels lighter. He took our money. Got soft leather shoes out of it for what that's worth. I was wrong, by the way. We did encounter Gravits uh, at the start of level 2 the last time we were down here, so they still exist down here. They're not a level 1 only phenomenon. Oh, did I get it already? One second. I'm also going to move something here. One more thing. Sorry, just trying to minimize wrist strain. There we go. That's beautiful. What is this? A giant green frog. We know nothing about it. Let's go, uh, I think the red frog's doing your strength. Green frog seems okay so far. Money. How much do we need to go up a level? We're at 138. We need to get to 160. We need 30 experience. Money. Nothing here that I can find. With my limited perception or searching or whatever the fuck ability it is there. Seeing blubbering icky things here a lot more often than we did. It used to be uh, white icky things we would commonly encounter on the first level. Some sort of mushroom shrieker. Yeah, we're finding a shit ton. I, sh I probably should have improved my armor. Like, I'm, it wouldn't have cost me that much for the sake of one armor class. I mean, one armor class might make a difference. Maybe the rogue wouldn't have hit me, and I'd have saved as much money as I lost. What is this? White jelly. Touches me. Let's keep an eye on our sidebar here. What, what is it going to do? You feel very sick. Well, poison dust. Okay. Got it. We're going to lose some... Oh, fuck me. Well, let's kill them. Oh, fuck. I wasn't watching my screen, and I moved when I meant to... Uh, fuck, I did it again! Fuck, I did it again! Alright, stop looking at the text at the top. Let's attack south. Okay. I missed it. Son of a bitch. These are only grab uh, biting me so far. They haven't taken anything from me in a while. I missed. I hit. They only take one hit, apparently. That's nice. I'm getting very lucky they're not touching me. I have to go slowly here. I can't risk uh, doing what I did repeatedly at the beginning, which is going, going the wrong direction. There we go. We got them all. Without losing anything, as far as I can tell. Potion of Boldness. All right. Next time we're afraid, we have that. And or we can sell it. It's not that valuable. I miss the, uh, the priest spells my paladin had access to, of course. A Malibdimnum Wand. Let's try and use that on the next thing we see, like this. Although uh, we gotta kill these things manually because they're right here. Let's kill them first. Slew it. It dropped something. Maybe a torch. Alright. Brass lantern. Okay, well, we didn't have to buy one after all. We have that. A scroll titled Fidrolba. Oh, 
I've been insisting on searching there. I'm like, you're letting me through this way. I know there's a door. Can't fool me. Search, 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 search. Open. <laughs> For no reason. A stubborn refusal to leave the uh, wall unsearched there. Let's try the wand of light. I don't think it's going to work. I think it, I think it, I think it makes a beam of light in a given direction. But let's try it, and just to be 100% clear on what it does. A wand of light. Yeah, to the east. I failed to use it properly. That's the other problem with wands for me. Is I'm not going to, I'm not going to very effectively get them off because my. Uh, as you can see, my device use skill, magic device, is poor because my intelligence is so abysmally motherfucking low. As is my level. And I'm a fighter. Those things combined mean I have shit, shit, shit magic device use. I have crappy disarming too, which is also the skill used to pick locks, but we get a little bit of experience. This is always one. We're at 151. Alright, we got it. 152, yeah. What are we trying to get to again? 168? Alright, we're getting there. Be level 7 before you know it. Alright, let's wield a pick. For a second I thought the Grabbits got it, but they didn't. Tunnel that out. Found it a lot faster. Let's wield a dagger. Oh, I got the caps lock on. Wield a dagger. J. Get more swings with it, and it does more damage. A lot of locked doors in this level. Somebody doesn't want me getting to the Nazgul. Ooh, there's a kobold. It's interesting kobolds represented with an O here. I wonder if they were originally in the early versions of Moria. Like, O is just, like, orc, but, like, goblins and kobolds and everything are orcs. Or if, uh... Or if it's just, you know, unique to this. There's another one. Let's just see what we know about them when we get a chance. Kobold's not going to be a tough creature, but I'd like to know what we know about it, what, what it can drop, that kind of thing. What is that? Novice Priest. Let's close on it right away. Oh, a yellow mushroom patch. Dead. Maybe I should have lured it into the bigger room because uh, they often drop things. And again, if they drop... Oh, Metallic, this is a new centipede for us in this... Uh, version of the game. There we go. If they drop it uh, at a place where we can't... Um, I'll carry it for now for ballast. Why not? If they drop it into a wall or something, we wouldn't get it. So it makes some degree of sense to... Uh, if we're trying to get the goods... You can't tunnel through... Oh, it it's just money. Okay. What is it again? Uh, J? Come on. Oh my god. Wield, J. Yeah, it might make sense to lure those guys into a into a bigger room. I'm gonna wait on level seven before we uh we're, we're on the verge. Let's get to level seven, then we'll go right down those stairs right there. Like two more experience points. I'm sure there's something here, or not. Nope. Oh, there it is. Oops. I looked down at my keyboard for a second, and by the time I looked back up, the secret door had been found. I'm not terribly afraid of a bit of poison. Let's learn what we can about... Oh, we're fighting something invisible. We're going to have a lot more problems with um, some of those things than we did with uh, the Paladin. The Paladin had the protection from evil spell. That... Um, Welcome to level 7. Let's go right back to the uh, staircase as I said I would and get out of here. 
for the protection from evil spell that would keep the undead from even hitting him a lot of the time. Um, from being able to hit him. Which spared him from a lot of things like stat drain that are common to some of the undead. Um, we're not going to have that defense, of course, so... We're going to have to be a lot more... Uh, I don't know. A lot more cautious? I don't even know if that's the right word. A lot more lucky is probably more like it. Found some silver instead of copper. White ant. We fought a black ant before. The white ant. That's new. I don't know if it's harder or... That one. We gotta use these things again, too, to find out what they are. I gotta remember I don't have to get on an angle like this. Oh, well. I've done it. A Malibdemum wand. H. To the to the west. Yeah, I failed to use it properly. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it, because I'm just gonna end up draining all the... Uh, Stats from it. What do they do? Do we want to know? Are we going to find out the hard way right here? Poisoned again. Okay, that's okay. Let's quaff it. This we can find out what it does. You're covered by a veil of darkness. Potion of blindness. Let's go into the corner here and rest until this is gone. Rest. What does it say? Right, let's just, I guess, go back and forth. We can't pass our turn. It'll run out eventually. One would assume. Is there anything else I can quaff? Let's try a crimson potion. We tried that before. We felt better, but did it uh, maybe it cure blindness? Let's just try again. Cure light wounds. Okay, well now we know officially what it does, which also removes blindness. Good to know. We've identified another potion. When we took that potion last, in the last episode or two episodes ago or whatever it was, um, incidentally, I'm going to explore this full level and probably return to the surface, but maybe not all in one episode. Um, when we used that potion last, it actually did... We, we had one hit point missing when we took the potion. And as soon as we took the potion, we gained one hit point. And it said we felt better. Um, but it didn't tell us what it did. I'm assuming... Excellent. Uh, might as well use this then. Uh, read. Scroll of Identify. On the... Tin Wand. A wand of Polymorph. Okay. You could probably sell that for a shit ton. Again, no point in us keeping it. We'll never get the usage out of it for now. Um, we... we did gain the one hit point, and but it didn't tell us what the uh, wand did, or the potion did. And I, I assume now, in retrospect, what it must have been is we must have been one, one turn away from healing that wound via like spending a turn. If you spend enough time, your your health comes back. I'm assuming we spent exactly enough time to gain our health back, and gained it back exactly as the potion went off, or something. You know, the equivalent of that. And that is why we didn't learn what it did, because it should have told us. I think. Ah. Wheel J. Found something. Wield. No. Press caps lock. Wield J. Wield J. Caps lock T to the west. It's definitely tunneling a lot faster now. It's taking me a while to get used to turning that caps lock off. What the fuck? Wheel J. <laughs> this isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing that we're finding this money, but I just find it funny that as soon as I uh, am ready to proceed, it's there again. As it is here. Okay, wield J. Finding a lot of stuff in the wall here is, I mean, ultimately a good thing. We need money.
We're going to need money, that's for sure. Flask of oil, okay, let's get for the lamp. Slash throwing at monsters if we want to. I'm not afraid of you, novice warrior. I killed one of you a long time ago, and now I'm much more powerful than I was. Oh, I might be afraid of several of you. Nah, not really. Greedy little gnome I'm afraid of. They can steal stuff from us. Your backpack feels lighter. There's a puff of smoke. He might have teleported right beside me here. Novice mage cast a spell. You resist the effects. Killed the greedy little gnome. Okay. Maybe he dropped what? Oh, I'm confused, damn it. Alright, I feel less confused. I got a steel wand, alright? I'm getting, racking up the wands here. As I said, we'll get back to the surface when we can because uh, we do have to sell off slash identify all these things. A chartreuse potion. Again, I'll carry the shards of pottery for now just in case we get stuff stolen from us. I believe it just chooses an item at random from your inventory, in which case if it chooses shards of pottery, what do I care? Now there is a risk when you carry too much weight that you uh, you slow down. A cat of nine tails. I can't carry it. Okay, we gotta drop a shard of pottery. Let's drop a broken stick. Fine. And grab this. Should we wield it? Let's take a look at our... Probably not. Uh, let's take a look at our equipment. I mean, our dagger does one to four. It weighs 1.2 pounds. How much does a cat of nine tails weigh? Weighs four pounds. So it would be worse. We would be. Um. Well, fuck you, Black Naga shit. I don't quite remember what it does, but I know it does something bad. Thank God. We severely damaged it. Hopefully, we got. We, we cut off one of its attacks, whatever that is. I right, was dead either way. We got a foil. Let's take a look at it. The foil weighs... Where the fuck is the foil? <laughs> I can't see this guy. Did I not pick it up? Did it say we didn't have enough room? I didn't have enough room. Let's drop the uh, gnome skeleton that we don't need. Alright. Let's take a look at our inventory. The, the foil weighs three pounds. It weighs more than the dagger. The question is, do we still get two attacks? Let's try it for now. I doubt we will. But let's try equipping the, uh, the foil. And find out if we get two attacks. If we do, we'll use it. If not, we'll go back to the dagger. An indigo potion I can't carry. Let's also well, let's keep dropping shit we don't need first. Drop you. I'm going to drop you. Indigo potion, okay. Let's wield. <sighs> this is the problem with having your inventory so full, you can't see what the fuck you got. Oh, we're using a dagger again. Let's wield the foil again, just for the experiment. Can't carry a wand of light? Well, yes we can. We'll drop more shards of pottery. When we find a way up, we should go up. Here comes somebody. Uh, I could switch to the bow, but why bother? Let's just go here. And I guess do this because we're not allowed to wait. Oh, five's working now. I paused. I passed my turn and they came. Maybe it was always working and it was like those monsters won't advance on you if you wait. Maybe it's like part of their AI or something. Let's eat. Okay, well, it looks like this is working now. For which I am grateful. Seeing if there's anything we missed in the room. There does not appear to be. Oh, wait. Was that just a flash? Yeah, it was a flashing cursor, not a staff or something or a wand on the floor. Icky green potion. Let's drop. What we gonna drop, yo? We definitely gotta get back to the surface now. We could drink a potion or use a scroll. Let's try reading F. Read. We wanna read F. No more scrolls of blessing. Okay, well, we learned what it is. It gives us a bonus to our armor class, I think. We get 17 now. Momentarily. I don't think it'll last long, but for a bit it gives us a, a boost to our armor class. 
We don't need the pottery, of course. There, it's back down. It might give us something else as well. Fuck, we ever start quaffing shit, man. We gotta pick this stuff up. Let's quaff a chartreuse potion. Did I press the wrong thing? All right, well, I, I, apparently I did detect invisible. I meant to do the chartreuse potion. Maybe I did do the chartreuse potion. Why didn't we already figure out? Maybe we learned scrolls of detect invisible. I don't know. All right, well, we learned something. Let's uh, let's keep going until the light burns out. Lice. Let's kill them quickly. I don't want my light growing dim when we face these guys. Alright, let's kill this snake off and then we will switch. Well, go over here, drop. No, let's wield. Wield another torch for now. We're one of the ones that say I got the least light S. Drop the, the truly almost out of light torch. That would be T. And move on. Let's find a way up and out. We're coming up on the half hour mark. If we haven't, we may not get out of the dungeon in this episode, but we are going to try to get out because we have so much to sell. We got to start soon. Probably not to get down to dungeon level five, but very soon we have to start thinking about buying two words of recall. One to get us down into the dungeon, and one to get us back out. But not yet. Man, my back is running with sweat. I know you needed to know that. Jumping Jack Jesus is hot. White worm mass, not so bad. The green ones we gotta be a little bit cautious about. Of course, you can't tell at a glance in this the way you can in Amband uh, what color they are. No reason. Alright, have we found a way out? No? Oh, yeah, we already did. Let's head there. I mean, we're literally at maximum capacity in our carrying capacity, so let's just get out as fast as we can. Right here. Up to level 2. Find the first goddamn way up, and at the half hour mark, we'll be calling it quits almost certainly. Shrieker. Another flask of oil. A scroll entitled Bin San El. Let's wield our pick. Oh, I haven't been looking. Yeah, I haven't been looking to see if uh, if we're getting two attacks or not. That's been wasteful. I will do that. As I'll put it back on, and we will do it right now. O? Nope. P. Remind me. Let's just go do this right now. Oh, for fuck. Why did I do this? Wield. O. A white Harpy closet. So let's attack it with the uh, pickaxe. I don't think I have time to change. Alright, it's dead. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, it's dead. We level 7 yet? Yes, we are. Alright, let's wield back. Uh, wield, for God's sakes, wield. Foil. Alright, we're using the foil, correct? Let's see if we get two attack. I'm pressing 5. Yeah, it did. pass your turn does work. That's great. We hit the blue. Oh, we don't know because we killed it in the first strike. We need something that we don't kill in the first strike in order to gauge it. Uh, let's see if there's a secret passage here. There is. Alright, hopefully we can not kill this in one hit. Which is an odd thing to hope. You hit the large brown snake. More. Alright, we're getting two hits. So stick with the foil for now. There's a little more damage than our uh, dagger did. There's a slim chance that this particular variant, Morgul, did away with the uh, the strength requirement to get multiple hits and might only rely on level or something like that, especially for fighters or something, I don't know. In which case we are better off using this all around. Let's not bother with 
a pair of soft leather shoes. All right, we are at the 30 minute mark right now, guys. So I guess um, let's get to a room. Any lit room will call it quits. All right, let's grab this too. Can't carry a wand of light. I most certainly can, sir. We're going to drop something. We're going to use something. Let's quaff an indigo potion. Potion of super heroism. I believe it gives us a bonus to hit. Maybe a bonus to our IC too. Not, not to our... Oh, you can see our, our hit points went up temporarily. You feel like a superhero. Looks like we got 20 hit points temporarily from that. Got a wand of light. Okay, let's call it quits right here. I'll be back uh, probably not today. I'll be back tomorrow or something with some more uh, of this and or another uh, seven-day roguelike and or some more Xbox stuff. I'm not sure um, what the next plan there is. I might move on to Left 4 Dead 2 right away or I might uh, briefly divert to something else. Um, I don't know. Not sure I'm in the mood for Left 4 Dead right away. Anyways, I'm gone for now. Have a good one wherever you are. Hope you're beating the heat. Bye.